this, your character, and reflect on it? Uh, yeah, well, there's two characters, and one kind of informs the other. Callum Lynch is our present-day character. He's somebody that's been incarcerated most, most of his life. When we meet him, he's on death row. He's about to be executed. He's a very cynical character, uh, hardened character, and very distrusting of other people. And it's only through his experience in the Animus that he realizes that he belongs to something greater than himself. He's a lineage to this brotherhood dating back to 15th century Spain. And through his experience in the Animus, starts to embrace this role as a leader. Tell me about collaborating with Justin and what you admire about him. So much I admire about Justin. Just He's, he's, he's a very strong visionary. He's a great leader. Uh, instills a lot of passion in the whole crew. He's great with actors. Uh, he's got a very visceral quality to his filmmaking. It's always sort of anchored in, in, in a realism. And I knew that he would handle violence well. And what message do you have to the uber fans of this game? Uh, you know, I, I would say we've respected the game and hopefully we've brought some new surprises and elements to it. For example, the Animus um, itself is something that in the game it's, it's quite a, an inert experience for the person sitting in the Animus chair. So that was something that we wanted to change. We wanted to really give a physicalization to the character in the Animus that would represent what their ancestor is doing. And I think they're going to enjoy that just one of the things hopefully thank you so much congratulations yeah, enjoy thank thank you. You. tell me a little bit about the journey that you take and reflect on it your character in this movie uh, well I was uh, very happy and I felt very lucky that I could work with Justin Kurzweil and Michael Fassbender again um, I didn't know anything about the, the game but I read the script that that was actually my first introduction to the Assassin's Creed uh, world and, um, and I thought, it, I mean, the concept of genetic memory uh, was absolutely fascinating. I thought um, that the, the movie was very entertaining and at the same time ask, asked um, very profound questions. And, um, and this character, Sophia Riken, is, is so powerful, mysterious, complex. So for all those reasons, I, I was very happy to be part of the project. Tell me what you admire about Justin's filmmaking. Um, he's a true artist. He, um, I need to work with, with uh, directors who need to do movies, who need to tell stories, who are good technicians, but who have a vision, a very, a very strong vision in their own universe. They, uh, they you know, and, um, and he's an amazing director for actors, one of the best I, I worked with. Um, tell me about what, what attracted you to the project. Well, the, the main thing that attracted me to the project was the cast. I'm a huge fan of Michael and Marion, and when I watched um, Snowden, Snowden Town Boys, I, like, I was immediately traumatized, and I knew that I had to work with <laughs> Justin. <laughs> but, um, you know, the writing, I love the world. Uh, I had never heard of the video game prior to the to coming to the script, but the world was so beautiful, so dense, so rich with character, and and you know this, this idea of, of of ancestral energy that I, I subscribe to in my personal life. I believe I'm here based on everybody that came before me and my family, and this movie spoke to that. And all those things combined, I just said, uh, you know. What was the most challenging part for you? Well, very challenging was you know being a part of a project this fast and this uh you know technical you know i'm used to uh, the more character driven stuff and and not so not so uh technical the fight scenes were, were intense you know and 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 very technical so that was challenging but it stretched me i grew you know? um, and lastly congratulations on the golden globe nomination for the night of incredible work in that my favorite. Can you just give us a little sound bite about, you know, working on that project? Uh, you know, that again, great cast. Rizzo Mott, he deserves all the accolades that he get. J J John Totero, it was, I mean, St Steven Zellian, he's a madman, but name one G genius who's not. He's a he's a straight up like like a master master to work with, you know. And and I I, I, um, I learned a lot about the process of getting to, into character on that 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 project. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the role you play in this. Uh, I'm uh, Maria. I'm an assassin, uh, and I'm fighting uh, with Aguilar against the Templar. How, did you get to work with Marion? Uh, no, because we're really in different worlds, unfortunately. 
So yeah, I mean, during the Spanish Inquisition, and she's in the present day. So we didn't. No, not another time. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. No, but we met, of course, but not on set. Yeah. Um, can you speak about collaborating with Michael? Yeah, it was very, very exciting and very intense, and we had uh, we wanted to do as much as possible um, all the fights, the scenes, and everything uh, together. So, so it was it's great actually to meet someone through physicality because you kind of get to understand each other much quicker and much faster. So it was a, a great collaboration from the first day. Really. Um, what message do you have for the gaming fans out there? I hope they enjoy it. Uh, I knew the game. I, I, f I think it's an amazing game, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to love the film. And uh, the Lobster was recognized for Golden Globes. Uh, can you tell, speak a little bit about what that honor means that the film was recognized? Oh, that's great. Of course. It's, uh, it was a huge surprise. And uh, yeah, no, I mean, what can I say? It's, uh, we're hoping for it, and we're so happy. <laughs> What's coming up next for you? Um, I just finished uh, shooting something in Italy. It's about um, the life of Mary Magdalena and Jesus Christ. Is it the Rooney Mara film? Oh, you're done filming? Yeah. Congratulations. And how was it working on that? It was another world, another atmosphere, but it was amazing. Very intense, very beautiful. I just saw Lion, and that was another incredible movie. The director is brilliant. God Davis is, yeah, he's a genius. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks. So tell us a little bit about your role in the film. Um, so I play Abstergo Orderly, who um, sort of is um, working with the assassins and taking care for, for Michael Fassbender as well when he arrives to the assassin's house. And, um, and it's a very exciting part. I, it was great working with Justin Kurtzel, with Michael Fassbender, Marion Cotillard. Um, and I'm seeing it now for the first time, so I'm very excited for that. Um, speak about working with Michael. He's wonderful. He's, I, I just saw whenever there was, you know, whenever he wanted to try a different way to, to approach the scene, he, he would just do it and, and both, both versions would just be so great and, and, and I guess Justin Kurtzel, the director, has a great option to choose from. And how about Justin? What do you admire about his vision? Oh, he was, it was wonderful because while, while the film, the scene that I'm in is a pretty cold scene actually and everything is quite organized and technical, there was still such emotion whenever the camera stopped, so there was still such, such great energy in the room and I think he definitely brought that great energy, so it was wonderful to work with him. And how about Marion? She's, she's so beautiful and, and such, a, such a wonderful actress. I was actually very starstruck by her when I, when I saw her for the first time, so it was a great experience. Tell us a little bit how you got your start in acting. I saw you were in theater in Europe. You started in a lot of theater production. Tell us about that. Um, so I started in yeah with theater in Europe and um, and did two or three plays every year um, in Paris, in Germany, and in Austria. And then um, I did my first film a year and a half ago called The Carer. Um, and after that, I did another play, which was also on TV, and then Assassin's Creed. So let's hope that it goes on this way. Then I would be very happy. And you're currently studying at NYU. Exactly, I'm studying political science at NYU. This is in between exams, so it's the perfect. Finals it's week. I went to NYU actually. <laughs> oh, I'm a Gallatin. Where did you go? CAS. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's finals week, and this is a great distraction. <laughs> well, what, what What do you hope to do next? What are you looking forward to? Um, I just think projects that, that generally interest me, where I can read the script and where I can think that this is something I would love to be a part of. I think that's always that's always the most important part to me. Um, and to work with, with, with such great people, such as Michael Fassbender or Marion Cotillard, I mean, that was, that was really, really special. Congratulations. Enjoy the... Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.